Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to share with you how I made some changes to my OpenCV time exposure application. This is the application that I use as a sample to exercise the functionalities of the camera. So here, when I launch the application, uh, what you'll notice, I'm opening the camera using this GStreamer pipeline. This is something that is a, a better option for me when I'm running under Bullseye. With this GStreamer pipeline, GStreamer is actually performing the calibration that, and tuning that is needed to get the sensor to produce the co correct color colors uh, uh, when it's uh, capturing the images. What you can see it is capturing here and uh, looking at the, the, the images that it produces, the colors are correct. This is the colors that I see. And this is the grayscale version of this live uh, image, which has been time exposure to, for, for about 10 minutes. So um, what I wanted to share here in this video with you is this uh, GStreamer pipeline. So the GStreamer pipeline is based on lib camera source. And then it's piped to uh, raw, with raw device, uh, raw video with uh, width uh, of 640 and height of 480. And I've specified a frame rate of 10, although I don't see that frame rate uh, being honored. It's giving me more. So uh, what you can see here, it's giving me more than 10 frames per second. And that may be something that I would have to resolve elsewhere. The next step is it's pipe to video convert and then video scale. And then for display, it's, uh, again, same dimensions, uh, 640, uh, raw 640 and 480. And then finally, it's uh, piped uh, to app sync. This is the GStreamer pipeline that works uh, for me. And with it, I am opening this uh, video for Linux device that has the name Unicam image. Under the old legacy camera stack, the name is uh, camera zero, uh, whereas here the name is Unicam image. And um, just wanted to share this with you by using um, GStreamer instead of V4L2, what I get is this uh, additional uh, tuning that happens. And uh, now if I stop the program, and launch it again, it will be able to get the right image back. Uh, whereas uh, with the V4L2 interface, I was uh, able to I was able to get the colors corrected by running Lib Camera before running my application. But then on subsequent calls, I would have to run Lib Camera again before running my application. But here. I will run my application one more time and uh, CV Timex will again reuse the, the GStreamer pipeline and as a result, it'll give the correct colors again when it's displaying the image. Uh, if I don't do that uh, GStreamer pipeline, use the V4L2, this image here will have a green tint or some tint uh, that, uh, that is not normal. Taking a look at the video devices, uh, there are Video 0, video 1, video 10, video 11, all the way to 18. And uh, so video 0 is the one that I want to open. Um, but really what I want to open is the video for Linux device. So there are this many video for Linux devices. If I look under slash sys slash class video for Linux uh, and then uh, star, you will see that the first device is not a video device. It's a V4L-subdev0. So that, I don't want to open that one. I want to open this one, which is the first video device. If I were to use this command and list the names of all these uh, devices, uh, video for Linux devices, what you'll see is this uh, first one, I do not want to open that one. Uh, that is uh, the v it, that is a different, it, although it, it's the correct device. It's the IMX219 sensor. However, that's not the, uh, the video device that I want to open. 
This one is the first one, the first video device, the video zero. Unicom image is the one that I want to open. So keep in mind that not all the devices under video for Linux, sysclass video for Linux are video devices. Uh, there is one that is not a video device. And so if I just uh, show the name of the video devices by uh, saying slash sysclass video for Linux slash video star name, uh, I get the first one being Unicam zero that corresponds to video zero. And that's the one I was opening here in my uh, application. So this name corresponds to uh, video zero. But when I see this name, what I have to do is say, okay, use the pipeline, use the GStreamer pipeline, ask OpenCV to open the device using this GStreamer pipeline. I have to provide this pipeline. Um, I cannot use the device by, um, I cannot open it using the, the native and, index. Uh, this works also on the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, it also works with the high quality camera. Uh, they both appear as Unicam image, uh, both the IMX 219 and IMX 477. However, um, I have some other issues with the high quality camera where I am dropping frames. So for now with the high quality camera, I'm using uh, the legacy stack until I resolve that issue. But for the, um, the camera module version two, I use, uh, I use this GStreamer pipeline. I hope this information is useful and hope to see you in another video.